Hi there, I'm Mike Armstrong, the head baseball coach at Alfred State College. I'm speaking on behalf of Figure It Out Baseball, and we're about to show you the short hops and in-between hops infielders warm-up drill. The main purpose of this drill is for our infielders to warm up their feet and their hands. So we like to start practice when we're out on the field or in the gym or in the batting cage anywhere for our infielders with a short hop in-between hop series. So what you're gonna see is our infielders partnered up with one another. They're gonna feed each other short hops to each other. For the first set, it's gonna be all short hops so that they know they're getting a short hop. They're gonna work about eight to 10 straight on ahead <clears throat> open up to a forehand. You can also work in forehand reach, and then we can work in our backhand, modified backhand, and then backhand reach for our short hops. So you're gonna see our infielders displaying all three, four of those different footworks that we're gonna need as an infielder, and working on their hand-eye coordination, seeing the baseball into their mitt, keeping the and their fingers back on their mitt so that they make a nice big pocket for their glove and they're accepting that baseball into the right part of their glove so they know where to get it when they go in to throw it to first base or second base. A short hop is a ball that's going to land within a foot or so of our mitt. So if my practice plan here is a baseball and my mitt is here, this is a hop that we can attack with our, I like to say attack with the heel of our hand and we can bring our fingers facing down to the field through the baseball and create an easy hop for our infielders to pick. The way to do this drill incorrectly is for ourselves to get lazy and have a bad fielding position. That's number one. So coaches be watching your infielders if they're up high and they're hinging at the waist and they're picking balls like this. We want to try to promote our eyes being on level with the baseball so that we can pick and really see the baseball and the glove in the same screen of our vision. And then another way that we can do this wrong, which you'll see a lot, especially from younger players, is when the hinge or the wrist starts to break and the fingers begin to come upwards towards the sky. That's gonna close off the palm of our glove and more importantly, the pocket of our glove. And then you're really only showing the ball, the very back heel of your mitt. And that's where you're gonna see balls kicking off the heel and popping out of our mitt. When we can keep our wrist back and our fingers down, we create a fishing net, so to speak, for that baseball to go right into. So the second portion of the drill that you're gonna see after our players finish their short hop series, they're gonna go into in-between hops. And in-between hops can be an infielder's worst nightmare. That's the ball that's hit softly or hard, but where we get caught in between, and it's not a short hop, and it's not a nice long hop that pops up to our chest. It's the one that's gonna be somewhere right in our belt waist region that's a tougher ball to handle. The way that we teach our infielders to combat that is by moving their feet. So when we see an in-between hop, we have a choice to make. We either attack it and turn it into a short hop, or we drop step and we turn it into a long hop that we can catch at our chest. So you're gonna see our players bouncing balls as best they can on the dirt to create balls that they're gonna need to either step through and attack or drop step back and catch high. This again is to create better hops for our infielders and avoid those in-between hops where we get handcuffed and where a lot of our errors come from in the infield.
Thanks again for watching. I'm Mike Armstrong, the head baseball coach at Alfred State College. You just watched the short hop in between hop infielder warm up series. I hope you'll tune into our next video where we're going to display our short fungo work for our infielders.